I may have created myself a little bit of a problem. I made it an excavator. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have an idea. I seem to get a lot of flat tires. I tend to run over anything and everything. Pretty much treat this lawn more like a brush hog. It has been above 100 degrees for about two months now and it ain't even August. So we haven't even got to the hottest time of the year. So my thought is we need a swimming hole. This is currently what we're working with. This is our little pond. It's got some massive bass in it. I think it's got some catfish. We haven't ever caught any catfish, uh, bluegill, stuff like that. And it's actually raining today, which ideally what I want to do is create a hangout place that we can bring Maverick down here. We can swim in the shallow end. We can fish. Um, eventually I'd like to build a dock and stuff like that. But I think for right now, I just want to get it cleaned up enough on this edge that we can come down here and swim when it's 100 degrees outside. I think it'd also be cool to take all this extra wood. Let me show you. We've got all of this dead wood. This tree's lost some big limbs. We've got a bunch of driftwood because when it rains, we have a creek right here that will fill up and it will actually flood and come down here. So it brings down all of the wood from up in the woods up there. So what I think would be really sweet is if we were able to take all of this logs, build a little bit of a log pile, create a fire pit, and we have all of this old metal here from, I don't know why it's here. I think it might've been here to help stop the erosion. It might've been an old cattle trough, but check this out. We've got all of this old, old metal. And I think it'd be sweet to use some of it to do some sort of project. So, uh, you know, we could cut that up and use it for log ends. Um, we could cut that up and turn it into a fire pit we also have another barrel over there that we could turn into a fire pit so i really want to create a place that we can bring maverick down here and we can hang out we can swim we can have a good time there's shade there's the water there's fishing and marcy can come down here bring a book while me and maverick go and play in the water and uh maybe she'll even get in too but we'll see i'm gonna start cleaning some of this up cutting down a lot of this brush we have lost i can't even count how many lures and hooks in the trees just from casting because everything overshadows the pond so Definitely want to clean some of that out, cut out some of these trees, the dead ones, and uh, we'll build us a fire pit. We'll kind of clean this out, make us a fishing bank, and uh, I think we'll even get in the pond and kind of go and see if we can't get us a nice spot to swim in. I think it's a mosquito minnow or something like that. So the next big spot is going to be this section of bank here. I may have created myself a little bit of a problem. I made it an excavator. As you can see, that big tree that we just cut down, it is huge. I mean, it's too big for me to move it by myself for sure. But we're gonna have to come up with a way to drag that out of the pond. I'm pretty sure I just made everything worse. And then there's some, a couple other big old logs that have fallen down into the pond years ago, I'm sure. 
And so we need to figure out how to basically clear all of those, all of this bank kind of off. We're making pretty good progress for, uh, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes being down here. Well, I think it's time we take a break. We'll go do some cast netting, just see what we can find. <laughs> We're gonna catch as many as we can and then we'll take them back and we'll show you us actually putting them in the pond feeding the bass. Check this out, this place is just completely dried up. We can probably catch a bunch of those by hand and check them in there. First cast, here we go. See how that does. Oh baby. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, that one's about to get away. Oh no, my sunglasses. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nope. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Better fill this bucket up. Well, good thing my sunglasses got a wash. Alright. Okay, so we got Threadfin Shad. Another Shad. Couple little brim. Here's a big Threadfin. Another brim. Okay, let's get the aerator. I honestly was not expecting that good of a catch for the first cast. <laughs> Here we've got Mr. Bubble Box off of Amazon. We'll see how it does. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. Check out this one, it's super fat. Looks like it's about to have babies, even though it's so small. <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking this pool is not very deep. I'm thinking I might just drag the net and walk and see if I can just clean the whole thing out at once. A little bit easier than just cast netting it. And uh, that way we can put the bait to use rather than this hole just drying up in the next couple of days and not be a net. All right, well, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this hole. We got probably close to 50 brim and shiners and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and pack up and we'll head down the other direction and see if we can find another hole like this. There's a couple more that I know of that are close, um, but honestly, a couple of the ones that I thought we were gonna be able to fish are actually completely dried up now. So we're like running out of time to do this. So we're gonna go get some more. Let's see how many we can get. Oh yeah. That's a money shot right there. Got fish swimming all around me. I mean, there's a couple, there ain't a ton, but there's a couple. Look at that, I caught my knife. <laughs> right out of my pocket. That was a lot of cast netting. I think we've got right around 100 or so bait fish, I would guess. Um, so I've got everything picked up. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the truck and get out of here and we'll take you guys to the pond. We'll do a little bit, uh, we'll let these go and we'll also use them for bait. We'll do some cut bait, we'll do some regular bait. See if we can't nail some catfish, some bass on live bait, live action. So it should be great, let's go get it. All right, we made it to the pond. I'm sure some of them didn't make it. That's to be expected, especially with these shiners. Oh, he's still breathing. Gonna be a little bit of a shock. I don't know if he'll, what he'll do, but let's see. Ooh, he might make it. If we can get those shiners to spawn in here, we'd be doing good. Didn't make it. With the aerator, they actually seem to be doing really good. So highly recommend, it was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So can't go wrong with that. Man, we got a bunch. I'm super stoked about it. Super, super stoked. Oh, that guy didn't make it. We'll use him for bait. It's a good size shiner. Still doing good. All right, so as you can see, we got this all cleared out. Looks really good. Like I said, we're gonna need to get a truck back here or something and be able to tow all of that limbs out of there. So I figure 
we did some cast netting and caught those fish. We may as well try and catch some catfish or carp or something out of here. I know that there's bigger fish and really all we've caught is a bass and bluegill. So we're gonna try and shoot for something else. So we just grabbed this out of the fish live well that we got, hooked right through the back. We'll give that a try. This rod's been out in the weather and it definitely shows. We're gonna cast this one straight behind us. That was real far. <laughs> All right, lock her over. Oof. I might need to take this apart and clean it real quick. Much better. I might be getting a bite here. Oh, baby. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's swimming right to us. Right to us. Ooh, a nice bass. Gee. Ain't huge. He uh, swallowed that entire thing, so I think we're just gonna cut that line and call him good. <laughs> 